Welcome everybody to Falcon Place Life in Bunker. Really, really excited to be bringing this game to you. Um, it kind of fills a void in the channel, which hasn't been seen in a while, which is the whole colony survival simulator type of game. And that's exactly what Life in Bunker is. It's very reminiscent of something like Evil Genius, a little bit of Prison Architect as well, RimWorld. You know, you get the drift what I'm talking about over here. But it's a game What's really cool about this that it is kind of revolving around life cycles. However, in that time, people that you have will be aging, they will be retiring, they will be dying. New life will be coming into the um, underground shelter bunker that we have going on over here. What's cool about that, though, is that when people retire, they stop working. So you have to make f sure that if people retire or they die, you have people to replace them in the work field. Otherwise, you won't be able to produce food anymore, water, basic needs, jobs, so on and so forth. So it's a really, really fun game. Let's get into it right now, and we'll talk more about it as we go along here. Alrighty guys, and we're good to go over here. There is normally a tutorial that kind of um, starts the game off over here for us. I went ahead and disabled that because I kind of know what I'm doing, so I'll probably be a better tour guide for you guys. And honestly, the tutorial actually takes a bit too long that I really like. So, let's start off over here with what's happening on the screen. Right now I have it paused because you could actually run this in real time. Double speed, three times speed. I love it when games give you that option to speed up the game. So good. Um, over here we have 10 residents in our bunker. We have no research points which will be used to um, uncover new machinery, uh, new skills, abilities, so on and so forth. Over here we have garbage, which is going to be by this little garbage pan over here. Since we can no longer go back up to the topside world because of um, the radioactivity out there and whatever else you know lives out there now because of the comet that fell on Earth, we have to use garbage containers to hold our garbage, which is going to be bodies, you know, um, we have earthquakes in this game, so whenever, you know, things cave in, we are going to have to dust them away. What's really cool about this, though, is because the map is going to be limited at some point. Right now I'm playing with a large map, so we're going to have a lot of maneuverability around here. But as you go forward, you obviously fill up the place with a lot of people, you will need more levels, so what's really cool about this game, you could actually go underground, level 2. Level 3, level 4, and it goes on. Over here we have our building materials, a thousand is what we start off with. Pretty basic, you use that to build stuff. Over here we have ore, which will be turned into building materials with uh, the proper machinery, which will unlock pretty soon. Zero fruit, zero veggies, zero grains, and we have 40 fish to start off with over here. So um, this is going to be no um, randomized, mind you, the amount of food you start off with. Alrighty, then um, let's see. Over here we'll have our building supplies and things of that nature. We'll talk more about that as we go forward for now. We need to assign people jobs, so let's go into our bunker stats over here. Oh, by the way, we can indeed rename individuals, so I will be opening it up right now. Um, leave your name in this um, video that you want to be named, or leave a name that you want your character to be named after. I will be picking them out random, I will rename them as we go forward here, and so on and so forth. Uh, just keep in mind that I'm going to record a few episodes here today, so you're not going to see the names take change into maybe four or five episodes down the line. So, um, you know, don't expect to see the change immediately, but just leave it now and down the line it'll probably swap over. Alrighty. So, what's really cool about this when we start off over here, we have all these people. They all have different jobs that they can excel at, and it's going to be random. So, not every single person can do every single job. Some people are just skilled at certain things, and some people aren't. So, that's really realistic in that sense. Two people to fix our machinery as we go forward because they will break down. Two people to clean up any sort of mess that we make, and then we have people to actually work. This is good. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Events over here. Uh, this will tell you when certain events happen, which are going to be all random. Research this is what we kind of need the scientists for, but that will happen down the line. Uh, utilities is going to tell you what you're using up right now, so our oxygen is completely fine. We have enough oxygen for 16 people right now, so we're cool over here. Um, right now, we are using up... 170 electricity of our 450, and then we are using up 100 water of 150 available to us. You can add more reactors and more water pumps as you go forward here, which you will obviously need to do so if you plan to expand. So as you can see, everybody changed colors depending on their job now. Dark blue is engineer, red, light blue is uh, workers, and I believe my janitors are red now, huh? That's interesting. I thought you usually are brown. Okay, well, so be it. Over here is where you bring life into the world. This is going to be the incubator. You obviously do not do the bump and grind for kids anymore. You just build them out of tubes. Makes perfect sense. And this is going to be kind of important because when your people get old and retire, they'll stop working. So you obviously need to have people that are going to fill up their spots whenever they retire. So we're going to definitely go ahead and have three embryos start underway over here. Great. So... Now that we have our jobs, we have some babies over here being made, we need to find out where we can acquire more ore. There is an ore deposit right here, which is great. 
that one over here as well. Good. Alrighty. And there's going to be also enemies in this game too. We'll talk more about them when it pops up though. Alrighty. At this point, we need to figure out where I want to start making my, you know, living quarters, my kitchen, my growing area, so on. So for now, we'll do this here. That's a good start. Let's confirm it. Let's go ahead and get the game running. People will get to work and we're fine. Now, we're going to need to get up a kitchen to make food, canteen to serve the food, and also at some point, the vegetable garden, well, some sort of farm to actually resupply our food. I'm pretty sure early on all we can do is um, vegetable garden before we unlock it with um, researching, so we'll start off with a vegetable area soon. Oh, damn it. Over here we have some of the um, examples of what I talked about here. This right here is not able to be broken down without the proper upgrades, so that's going to be a thorn in my side for a while because I wanted to expand this pretty big to make it into our living quarter and a place for us to kind of get some food as well. Mm, that's unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the red dudes are janitors, correct. You know what, I don't think we need that many janitors, so give me another worker, one and two. Yeah, that's fine. All these workers will have two engineers to kind of run around and fix stuff, and then one janitor. That's perfect. And you guys are just about done here, right? Okay. Uh, it's very important for you to utilize the pause feature, feature early until you get your kitchen up and running, because everything's gonna be running in real time, they'll be starving, you don't want that happening, so definitely go ahead and pause early. So we have a little bit of an opening here. I don't think this is going to be enough, though, especially because of this area here. So we'll have to expand down this way. I hope we don't run into any... Well, you, you'll see. You'll see. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. Uh, this is kind of good. Let's go ahead and cancel that out. Mm. Let's go up further down as well. So I think this will just about do. And confirm it, Val. Gotta always confirm stuff that you set up for destruction or for building as well. Remember that. Alrighty, so now with this done, let's go ahead and... I need the kitchen and... The, well, the, not the growing area, but the kitchen for a fact now. Since we have fish over here to cook, we'll be fine. So, this is gonna be temporary. At some point, I wanna be able to move stuff around the way I want it. But in order to survive early, we're gonna go into... Not life support of a residential zone. We want to get a kitchen up and running as soon as possible to make meals. So I'll place this over here for now. Somebody will come ahead and build that. We'll set up a cook to make that um, meals pretty soon. And we also need a canteen. I am going to go ahead and... I guess we could set up the canteen in here, huh? That's not a bad idea. I like this a lot. Alright, hold up. Because it's a 4x4 four four area, so... Oh, I guess we'll leave... Canteen, space, and canteen. That's good. Confirm this instruction as well. Alrighty. Nothing yet has happened that uh, I really want to run into those guys to show you the surprise that I'm talking about here, but... Alright, there's my um, kitchen up and running. Thank you, my friend. We will momentarily pause here. So, right now the kitchen is up and running, but you need to power it up. If you look down here at the station, it'll tell you, like, you know, it'll show you, like, red. If it's red or blinking, it means it's not getting any power or water, so you have to make that happen yourself. Let's go into... This is where the whole prison architect system kind of comes into play. We'll come into our electricity and water, and we need to get some power into this, so we'll go into power cable. You'll go into an underground motion or underground view of what's happening under the, the floor here. Here's our power cables. This is what's over here connected. We want to connect this over here because that's a conductor. The light works as a conductor as well. We want to connect that over here, so we'll come over here and confirm. Perfect. And then we need some water as well for the kitchen. The water system is going to be different, but it could also run parallel to the uh, power. So, because of that, mm, let's see, where's our water system? That's our water system right here. I'm going to go ahead and say we run this bad boy through here. Nope. Not that one. Through here. Nope. Stop it, Falcon. There you go. That'll connect. Good. Now, you want to make sure you're not, like, you know, making this, like, a... Uh, you're not just kind of building to build for the sake of it. You kind of want to have like a good idea as to where you're connecting to from because down the line you'll have to connect more pipes. So you necessarily want to make sure that you're not going to have stuff intersecting or certain pipes connecting to more than one pump. Because if that happens, bad things will happen indeed. Like your whole system will shut down. So, um, you know, we'll talk more about it as we go forward here. But for now, this is going to be just fine. This is to get our kitchen up and running. And as you can see now, the lights are no longer blinking. That means that we're good to go. So, we're going to pause this here momentarily. Let's come into the kitchen. And I'm going to put this as a service priority of 10, so it's constantly being looked at by our engineers. 
and let's go into setting up a cook for us. So I'm going to go ahead and drop... Did I never give Ashima Sadi a job? How did that happen? All right, Ashima, well, good luck. You're now the cook. Works out perfectly. So you're the cook now. One janitor, two engineers. We're soon going to have somebody start working on vegetables, but we'll hold off on that for now. This is good. Alrighty. So we now have our cook, which is going to be right here. Yeah. And you're going to be using a fish for cooking conditions, huh? or for cooking in general. That's good. We're going to be a healthy, underground, bunker-living individuals. Now, we need to have some place to actually serve the food because we're not going to eat off the floor. We're not animals, goddammit. So we'll go into canteen. We'll make one here, and then another one right here. And all this right now is taking up materials, by the way. The kitchen and things like that. Our cables as well. So we want to be able to be able to... I guess, uh, reproduce that. So for that, we will indeed need some ores and some machinery to break down the ore. Uh, let's see, what would be our best place to do that? We noted that there is one down here. I guess we don't even have to make an opening down here, we just kind of like make a tunnel down here, set up the machinery for that, and then the... Yeah, I think that'll work out. There's one over here as well. But I kind of want to make this my living quarters now, because I already started it up as that. So down here will be our oaring or refinery area. Perfect. Oaring, he says. That's a, that's a word that I made, just, made up just now. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Falcon? Oh, you know, I'm just oaring away. Oh, okay. Well, what does that mean? Don't don't worry about it. All right? It's just, um, you know, sometimes you just got to oar, my friend. So we'll make a digging area through here, and through here seems pretty good. I hope this is breakthroughable. Breakthroughable. Yeah, I'm just full of it right now today. <laughs> <laughs> Oaring breakthroughable. Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta make your own language as you go along here. You know what? If Shakespeare could do it, I could fucking do it myself, right? What makes Shakespeare so much better than the Birdman is my question to you. Don't answer that because I'm pretty sure I'm fully aware what that's the uh, the answer that's going to be. All right, so we have our canteens over here. The cook is now putting food in the canteen, so whenever these people are hungry, they'll come over here, sit down, have a nice meal, good to go. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Falcon, they need to sleep, they need to poop, they need a shower. You are very astute in observations, my friend. And we are indeed going to do that. So, let's come over to... Bow, 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 come down to residential area, shower pods and toilet cabins. We could also put down some nice flooring down here, which we will do. But we'll hold off until we have some ore being turned into building materials. Right now, I just want to get the basics up and running. Infirmary is going to be pretty important. Research is going to be to unlock... um research points over here. But the order of the importance for me is going to be infirmary after our pods and beds. So for now, we will have toilet cabins. You know what? After you have some food, you got to sometimes go over there and unload a little bit, right? Oh, we can't break this down, though. God damn it. You are such a thorn in my side. Well, that's fine. Actually, I don't think I want the, the toilet so close to the, uh, the kitchen there. <laughs> Sounds relatively unhygienic for me. Uh, let's just go ahead and make the toilet over here. I don't want it near the food area, okay? Let's be civilized here. Make a toilet over here. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Toilet here and toilet here. All right, you go far away. Oh, we're they're shitting now where we store our food, the fridge. Good job, Falcon. That's whatever, you know, it's it's I'm pretty sure it's sealed properly. Now we need some shower areas as well. We'll go with uh Mmm. We'll set up one through here. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not too thrilled with this light here. But I guess it'll stay there. I I, I want at least like two shower areas is what I'm trying to aim at here. Oh well, you know what? We'll just place the other one over here. We we'll have like a, a female and a male bathing area. It's not gonna really work that way, but I'm gonna assume that it is. So there you go. Can I, I'm not trying to build though. I'm just trying to hit go. There you go. So you guys build that. We're gonna obviously have to get some power, or not not power for those, but pot water pipes for the uh, showers over here. So we're gonna go into water pipe, and let's see. That's already connected because the pre-existing connections will indeed connect to these new ones. So if, as long as you have something running by it, it will connect. So that's pretty cool. So over here, our shower area will be just placed through here, connect through that. And then this over here is offline and so is that one. Easily, what we could do is just connect like so and just connect like so. Very, very nice. All right. Get on out of here. Go back to the top view. 
So now our showers are going to be online, and so are our restrooms. So they could go over there and poop and take showers whenever they want to. How about some places to sleep, Falcon? You're probably wondering and asking me right now. That's a good, uh, good idea. Good idea indeed. If this is going to be kind of like our growing and canteen area, I guess we could now start digging through here to make a proper little sleeping area. And we might even uncover my surprise enemies in here. We'll see. So we'll go through here for now. Actually, we need a three, because the doors that I want to set up are three levels, so we'll go with that here. Are we frozen? No, we're, we're fine. Okay, so showers, toilets are online. You can basically tell whatever something's online or not by looking at the lights, which is so really like useful, because all you have to do is just kind of go overhead. Look and see what's blinking. If something's blinking, it's either broken, it's not receiving the proper power, so it's really, really useful in that regard. All right. And you guys are over here getting ready for our bed. How are our little embryos doing? Uh-oh! Small earthquake can cause landfills and empty tiles until the janitors clean the debris. You cannot build on those. So until we have our janitors clean up this mess over here, we can't build on top of that. And sometimes things will become crashing down and destroyed because of that. So we have to be careful with the earthquakes. I wanted to say before that earthquake happened, how are our little guys doing over here? Oh, they're almost about to come to life. Good on you guys. Good on you. Alright, so everything over here is fine. We are over here just opening this up. We're about to start wrapping up the episode here today. I really wanted to... Really wanted to run into our surprise here, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. And more importantly, is this another one of those things I can't break down? Oh, come on! You're all over the place where I'm trying to build! You're, you're fucking up my, my, my building, dog. Alright. I'm going to have to build around until we get like a research for that. It's so annoying. I wanted to make this kind of like my living area and also my workout area, you know. Leisure area. Now you're just breaking my balls. All right, no enemies as well, huh? All right, we'll probably spot them next episode. So at this point, we're going to wrap it up, guys. Hopefully, excuse me, edge scrolling. Um, I'm trying to say farewell to the people here. Um, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Hopefully, enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support this one a lot. There is so much to come with this game. So much fun. Stick around for the next one, which should be up pretty soon. And again, as we have not done so yet, leave your name in the comments. I will go ahead and pick people at random, rename our survivors. Expect to die because that's part of the game. And um, don't expect the changes to happen instantly. Give me like a couple of episodes as I'm doing a few recordings here today. Um, I will catch you next time. And leave a like. Show some support, dog. I'll catch you guys next time.